Good morning, everyone. How quickly they forget. Our first reading today from the book of Exodus shows God very angry with the chosen people. They so quickly abandoned the covenant. Moses had not even come down the mountain with the two tablets. God calls them a stiff-necked people. The story tells of the people of God worshiping a golden calf, a bronze calf, as if it were God. To some degree, we all have idols in our lives, things, people, situations that keep us from fully loving God. Idols are those things we think we need to have to be happy, but in the end, they really fail to fill our hunger and yearning. If we want to know if we have idols, just complete these few sentences. I wish I had, or I wish I could, or I just love to. So we can give ourselves a little test and see how we do. Is there anything in our lives that we make more important than God? A self-centeredness which makes me think the world re revolves around me and my plans and my expectations. An addiction of some kind. Addictions come in many varieties these days. You see, idols take away our freedom and enslave us. My brothers and sisters, the word of God for today calls us to name the idols in our lives and yes, to ask God for the grace to help us let go of them. The people in our Exodus reading show a lack of faith and trust in God. And in the gospel, Jesus speaks of a lack of faith to the leaders of the people. He tells them, you have Moses, you have the scriptures, you have seen the works that I do. But they still lack faith. Those Jesus is speaking to in the gospel can also be addressed as a stiff-necked people. And so, my friends, as we continue to pray and to worship together this day, we ask the Lord to help us name any idol that we live with. And we ask the Lord for the grace to help us let go of that idol and so to live and rejoice in the light of God's truth and freedom. God bless you.